Well, on this Monday, many of us are still digging out from the snow that we got late last week. And now our firefighters are asking you to dig a little more. That's around the fire hydrants, that is, in your neighborhood, even if it's not in your yard. Our Brandon Simmons explains why it is so important and it is the best way to help out. When firefighters get a call for help, they quickly spring into action, gearing up and heading to a scene. <coughs> the last thing they want to be worried about is whether or not they'll have access to the water they need when they get there. Unfortunately, this time of year, access to fire hydrants is difficult, many of them buried almost completely by the snow. Fire affects everybody on that street. That hydrant impacts everybody on that street should we need to access in the event of a fire. Parma Fire Department showed us an example of how much time is lost digging out fire hydrants. In this case, it takes three firefighters a minute and a half to dig out the hydrant and hook up a line. Usually, it's a one-person job that only takes seconds. It's the equivalent of four to six minutes lost. Fire doubles every 30 to 60 seconds. So a small incipient fire within, within one minute has now become a, a major conflagration. So what can you do to help? Take an extra five or 10 minutes to shovel out the hydrants near you. Remember that a single hydrant serves a dozen or more houses on a street. You don't have to ask permission of a homeowner to go on their property and clean off that fire hydrant. Obviously, we'd like the homeowners to have the responsibility to do that or the, or the courteousness to do that. In an ideal situation, firefighters want you to clear three feet around the hydrant. This is a good example, but it's also okay if you can't get all the way down to the grass. If we can get to those barrels, we at least got half the battle done. But if we need to waste time to clean up the barrels even further, then it becomes a problem for us. Okay, now obviously this is something we talk about all the time, and I know it seems obvious, but really, let me tell you, there are a lot of people who still don't do it, and plus we know when the snow plows come by, they block them again. So every time it snows, you gotta make sure you get back out here. You see this one's half done, and it's stacked up nice and high. We gotta make sure we get this done. Really, it's just a safety reason, Betsy. Yeah, and there's reasons that you have to dig around too, because of course it takes some maneuvering to get that hose onto those nozzles to get everything connected right. up. So they're not exactly a garden hose that they're connecting there. All right, so what about laws that require homeowners to do this? Are there any around? No, there are no laws because technically this is public property. So uh, a lot of times, you know, you have to worry about the homeowner getting out here doing it themselves. As we talked about, you can volunteer, go do your neighbors because it's public property. But the city doesn't really have time to get to it either because the firefighters themselves are answering here in Parma 15,000 calls per year. So they're already busy. There are only 23 firefighters per shift. So really, they're just asking you to help out where you can. Yeah, maybe split it up with your neighbors. Jay just said he and his neighbor are splitting the duties there, too. All right, Brandon, thanks so much for the very helpful tip.